Alright guys, your boy Retro Rambo back. Another tag match, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Playing against a couple of random people. Online. Rules are as set. Single match, 180. And, uh, that's it. In a tag match, like I said. Running my generic, uh, Synchro deck. He's running, he's running, uh, X Sabres. And, uh, I want to talk about... Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole, but uh, more so, aren't you ready for the next Yu-Gi-Oh game? I mean, damn. I mean, we've been kind of stuck on 5Ds. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, Yu 5Ds for the, at least the Xbox for about three years now. And we're, I'm just ready for a new game. I think I can speak on behalf of everybody. We're just ready for a new Yu-Gi-Oh game. Something with uh, more database of cards. Now, I know Yu-Gi-Oh... I know Konami did a good job of at least and plus decades do plus adding new cards uh, in the update, but we just need an or overall new format. What they really need to change is rank matches, the rank system. It needs to go by wins and losses instead of points. I don't think the points idea was a very good thing. I mean, because uh, honestly, you get everybody's gonna get points no matter what. I think the only way you should be truly ranked on the leaderboard is by wins or winning percentage. I think winning percentage should be better than overall wins because wins is factor on most wins factor on how many times you play the game. If you don't play the game a lot, but the times that you get on, you win. I think you should be tracked on that. So if somebody has 400 wins and 400 losses, but the 400 wins are the tops on the leaderboard, that doesn't mean they're necessarily good. It doesn't mean they played a lot, got the most wins. Whereas winning percentage, you know. 400 wins compared to two losses, or let's well, just say 398 wins and two losses, they will be second on the leaderboard to the person with the 500 wins, but their winning percentage is way better. So they need to, they need to change that system. The points idea wasn't that good, um, especially if you quit because neither player gets anything. I know we came up with an idea that look, if you quit, the best card in your deck I get. So that should be the punishment. Because not only should you take that L, but quitting, which, you know, the game needs to determine the difference between a quit and a disconnect. Somebody actually quitting the game and disconnecting accidentally or disconnecting intentionally. But either way, if, if, if Red Eyes Metal Dragon is the best card in your deck, I'm taking that card, whether I have it already or not. Because I feel like there's no incentive or no consequence to the person that's quitting, and there's no incentive for the person who actually... Uh, the person actually that got quit on. So, I think there needs to be some more consequence and change the ranking system up a little bit better. And I think you'll actually see more people playing ranked. I see, a lot of times you see a lot of people playing quick match or uh, player match because there, I mean, there's no benefit to rank. So, and I'm one of those included. Rambo is another guy. So, it's like we don't even bother playing rank because there's no incentive to go in the rank. Other than being on leaderboard, and at this point in time, leaderboard doesn't mean really squat. So, ready for a new game. Hopefully, on the Xbox One, uh, they come out with a new Yu-Gi-Oh game, something more user-friendly and more uh, card stack in terms of the database. Because I mean, when this first game first came out, all you seen was Black Wings and Light Swarms and, and Burn decks. That's you, that's you didn't really see anything else. They did a good job, at least when they updated the card, they added all 2,500 more cards. At least you got to see a little more variety. I see the black wings every once in a while, but it's not as heavy as, you know, you usually see before uh, Plus came out. So yeah, so I'm ready for a new Yu-Gi-Oh game. I'm getting so fucking tired of playing this damn 5Ds. That's why you don't see a lot of gameplay much no more, because I don't even get on. And with the GTA and the new systems coming out, you know, it's just been in the back burner. So, hopefully they come up with something new. And, uh, let me know what you guys think about that. I'm not going to say it bore y'all to death. But pretty much, uh, you'll actually see in this in this particular game, uh, why the hell, uh, we don't, well, why the hell we don't play rank matches. Because, you know, everybody does the one thing that typically pisses everybody off. You guys know what that is. Anyway, Boy Retro. See you in the next video.
Remember guys to like my Facebook page, the Retro Recap. As you can see here, the link will be in the description. I already have 44 likes on this page, and what this page will basically do for you guys is give you all the updates about when I'm going to upload a new video, when I'm going to be posting new videos in the future, and just some uh, polls and questionnaires for you guys to answer. So yeah, don't forget to like my Facebook page, it has some interesting stuff on there. Once again, thanks guys.